Hello there, it's Caroline here from Useful Graphic Design Tutorials. And in this tutorial today, I'm going to take you through how to create a survey using Google Docs, Google Documents. Now, I know there's quite a few free survey tools out there. SurveyMonkey is one that springs to mind, and I have used that. But to be honest, I find Google Docs really, really easy to use. We've had quite a few people asking us how to do this because we've sent out a couple of surveys from um, useful graphic design tutorials so we thought we'd do a quick video to show you how. It is done in uh, Google so you will need a Google account and if you haven't got one then you will need to open one but let's assume that you have got a Google account. The next thing to do is to go to that account and open the Google Docs and when you come to the front dashboard you need to click on the create button here and create a form because that's the function that puts the survey together it's actually a form first thing to do is to title your survey so let's say we need some feed back on our Halloween oops graphics and I think that with any email that you're sending out, the more compelling, the more exciting, the more curious the title, probably the better opening rate you're going to have. Uh, and I don't think that we need some feedback on our Halloween graphics is particularly great. I'm sure you can do much better than that, but it'll do for the moment. On this box here, you can quantify, you can, sorry, you can qualify that statement. You can embellish it to make sure that people do understand what it is that the survey is about. But we're not going to do that for the moment. So on to question number one. Let's just make this up. How spooky did you find our Halloween graphics? Oops. Now I want to do a, a graded response, if you like, um, to this. And you have the options here to, to choose. And I'm going to put multiple choice. We'll go through a couple of these so you can see. And I'm going to say too spooky. Hats to hide behind the sofa. That's my first option. And my second option, pretty spooky. Need to leave the light on at night. And the third option. Pretty tame, actually. Okay, so that's all the options I'm going to give the respondents. And if you want to make sure that they complete this question before they go on to the next, make it a required question. So toggle that box there and then click Done. So this is pretty much what it's going to look like. And by the way, Google Docs doesn't have um, a spell check function that I found in here. Now, if you can find one, then do tell me, because obviously it's important not to have any spell, spelling mistakes. So we need some feedback on a Halloween graphics. OK, now I can see there that there's a spelling mistake. And the functions to change and amend are over on the right. So just click on Edit, and you can change that there we go how spooky okay so that's done the other one is duplicate and the other is delete okay I'm going to go on to the second question now and the second question is what other images would you like to see in the future and this time I'm going to give people an option to expand their views on this and therefore I'm going to put the paragraph text. Now the text option is this one here. It's a very small paragraph, uh, sorry, it's a very small box. So it's just for a short answer really. But I want people to give me, you know, their full views. So I'm going to click paragraph text so you can see that the box is much bigger. Again, I want to make this as a requirement. Okay, now I'm not going to go through all the questions, but that's simply what you do to add the questions to the survey. Now once you've done that, oh by the way, you can add the functions up here, choose a text from a list scale, 
That's quite an interesting one from a scale of 1 to 5. And in the help text there, you could put the parameters, 1 being not scary at all, and 5 being I'm absolutely petrified. So you can help people make sure they understand which way the scale is going. Okay, we don't want that. So after we set up the questions, you've got the opportunity then to put a theme to the survey. And the, the theme function is at the top here, so let's click on that. And you see, look, there's, there's 97 different themes here. I think it's um, fabulous. I don't know, let's have a look at this, this the spice one. See, isn't that great? We need some feedback on Halloween graphics, how speaky did, and so on. I'm quite sure if that's the right one for this. Let's go back. Uh, I mean, you, it's, you can play around with these. They're great, obviously. I don't think any... Oh, that's a good one. Look at this. We need some feedback on Halloween graphics, the piano. Okay, let's just say that that's what it is you've decided upon. So let's click Save to save the theme. Oh, oh sorry. That's Apply on the left-hand side. The saved is to save the form. You've then got a number of options, and you can email the form. You put the recipients of the email in there, and you can choose the contacts from your Gmail. It's all very clever and simple. Include the form in the email, um, and then send. We're not going to do that. We can have a summary. Well, I'll come back to that in a moment, actually. It, we can embed the information on a website. This is the URL, sorry, this is the code that I put onto the Aweber form to send out. We can do that, but we're not going to do that now. Let's cancel that. I do recommend that you put an edit confirmation, and this, this gives people the chance to know that they have had their responses sent because the little message comes up, thanks, your response has been recorded. You can put whatever you want to in there. And then I would suggest also you publish the response summary so people can see that. We'll cancel that for the moment. Um, and then save. Okay. So let's just say that that form has now been completed. We haven't sent it yet because perhaps we're going to leave it for a day and then come back to it. And how you come back to it and maybe amend it and then send it is to come back into the Google Docs and go to the, the dashboard. Here is the form. Open it up. Now, when you open it up, um, having um, started it, this brings you into the spreadsheet which collates all the responses. And this is one of the things I think is really, really good about this. It does that all for you. So when people start to complete it, this is where your responses is actually going to be recorded. But to go back and then change any of the form that you may want to, you go into the form, you edit the form. OK, so then you can start to actually put more questions in if you want. You can send the form. You can go li to the live form. There, there we go. There's the live form there now. Uh, we cancel that. Uh, we can show the summary of responses. Well, we haven't actually got any. But this is where you would see a little graph. And this is where you would see, sorry, the spreadsheet, which we're already on. And this is where you delete the form. And that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it, really. I think it's a fabulous little tool. Uh, certainly, we, we plan to use it more and more. And if you've got any questions about what I've just shown you, then you know, please do get in contact with us. You can reach us on our Facebook page, the details of which are now going to be put on the screen. But that's all for this video. We look forward to seeing you in the next one, and, and until then, goodbye. Oh, by the way, if there are any um, videos that you would like us to do, please do get in touch with us. You can put it on the information on our Facebook wall. Uh, I mean, that includes videos on Inkscape or GIMP or pr pretty much anything else that you see that we're doing. We'll do one for you. Anyway, that's all for me for now. Bye for now.